All right, all right, all right. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Thank you all for tuning in. So in a matter of hours, West Indies and Australia will get the ODI series up and running. Yes, man. Gonna talk about it a little bit. Uh, we see where Steve Smith, he spoke to the media and he had a couple of things to say about the West Indies team. We also see where the former Australian um, cricketer, Mr. Rodney Hogg, he is doubling down on his comments. So I'm hoping that Shea Hope and his team will draw confidence um, or draw some motivation or inspiration from that. Yes, man, we're going to talk about what he said uh, re, uh, after the West Indies won the test. Also, we see where um, Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago Red Force, they have actually named their squads for the upcoming four-day regional championship. So, you know, we have to give you a little bit of everything, you know. We're into the ODI series, but I still have to keep you abreast with what is happening in the region. So just give a listening ear until the end. And remember to pong, 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 press that subscription button. All right, let's get straight into it. So yesterday I looked at an interview that was done by She Hope. And he was saying that the team... You know, the team is looking to draw inspiration from what the test team achieved. Saying that they are looking to go one better by winning the series. But they are definitely going to be pulling from what those guys would have achieved. Knowing that it was a, um inexperienced, relatively inexperienced squad that went. And they were able to secure victory. So, she hope my people will probably be looking at what Mr. Rodney Hogg had to say. After the West Indies won that test. It seems as if he's taking credit for West Indies winning that test match. So this is him right here and I quote. Taking this from the ESPN uh, website. And I quote. Well, apparently I have reinvented West Indies test cricket. They were, they were hopeless before I made those comments. And they have all jumped up. And being motivated to play in court. So, you know, he's doubling down. He's saying that uh, apparently he's taking credit say, you know, <laughs> because of what he said, basically pull us out of our shells. Well, if that is in case I'm um, indeed true, if him saying that would have allowed us to win, then I you know, can't say about the ODI team, then man, I make a win. <laughs> but, anyways, um, just thought you, you guys wanted, wanted to hear an update on that. Quite a few people were wondering what he would have said after the test match. But, you know, a typical um, response that, that we would have expected there from, from, from uh, based on what he would have said in, 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 the, in, the, in the beginning. So, um, that is him. So, from one former Australian cricketer to a current, Steve Smith, who is captaining the ODI team. He spoke about the West Indies team and this is what he had to say. And I quote, the West Indies have some good players. I think it's I think it will be a good series and hopefully we can see some of these new players start off their international careers well. So, you know, we have some new players. Australia they have a couple of new players that will be going in. So, you know, Steve Smith is saying that hopefully, well, I am assuming he's speaking about his team specifically um, when he's saying that hopefully they will start their career off um, well. But a um, couple of youngsters in the squad, are um, in both squads, and they're expected to feature. So I, I, I am going with what Steve Smith is saying there. That this, Well, hopefully the series will be a competitive one. It's a three-match series. First one starting today, well, tonight. Around about 10.30 um, p.m. So that is going to be very interesting to see how the guys will go. Um, if we can win this series, things might work out in our favor. Because I see some information. I was reading an article yesterday and I saw a story coming out where um, somebody was, you know, like they are advocating for the next time Australia have uh, traveled to the West Indies. I think it's in uh, 2025. That the two match test series uh, be, uh, they add another one to it, put it up to three, 
Um, nothing official, nothing concrete, not saying that that's what's going to happen. You know, it was just a couple of people um, talking and thing, and I, and I was like, that, that would be good. It would be good to see that. So that is what Steve Smith is saying. So yeah, uh, we're going to leave the ODI part for now. A little later on in the day, I will take a look at what coach Darren Sammy had to say about um, his team going in. He's on the ground. He's ready. So we're going to take a look at what he had to say later on um, in another video. But just before I finish, the four-day regional championship will be starting on the 7th of February. We have already received the Guyana Harpy Eagles squad. I went through that a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to finish up by naming the players that were uh, selected for the Trinidad and Tobago um, Red Force and also the uh, Barbados Pride um, team. So just uh, give a listening ear to the rest of um, uh, to the end, my people, and let me know what you all think about the squad. Um, squads, do you think there there are players there that shouldn't have been selected? Um, one one name that jumped out at me is that is Darren Bravo. Is actually not a part of this squad as of now. Not sure if there is going to be any wiggle room to change anything. But the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force squad, um, this is it. It's been captained by Joshua De Silva. And his deputy is Brian Charles. Yes, my people, the, 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 the spinning all around are there. He is the vice captain. Amir Jangu is also there. Imran Khan. Um, I think Imran Khan um, put out some information earlier this year that... This might be his final season, but Imran Khan is there. Terence Hines is also there. Jason Mohammed is still there. Um, Jai Gould is there. Jaden Seals. Anderson Phillip is also there. Vikash uh, Mahon. Uh, Cephas Cooper. Tian Webster. And Kyrie Pierce. So, um, nice little young crapper guys there, my people. Uh, when I say young... They haven't um, been there for, 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 for over a decade and, and, and going and going. I mean, Jason Mohammed has been there for a while and Imran Khan. But um, nice little unit there. Couple of players there that you definitely want to see them uh, performing well. Seeing that, you know, they are usually on West Indies duty. Uh, Jaden Seals is one that we are looking forward to seeing uh, if he, you know, he's, he's fully recovered and he's able to play. Uh, Doty, uh, Doty will be able to play the first set of games, but... Um, he's there, Anderson Phillip, he was in and around the West Indies uh, team uh, a little while back, so hopefully he can get back to his best. And Joshua De Silva, who would have captained the West Indies A team on a couple of occasions, he will be leading there. Now down to the Barbados um, squad, the Barbados uh, team here, Pride. Uh, they have Craig Brathwaite, who will be captain in the team. They have Shaquille um, Cumberbatch. They have uh, Shane Dorich, who recently retired from international cricket. Um, Jonathan Drakes is also there. Shame Holder, Shemar Holder. Good to see Shemar Holder back in the fall. Uh, Akeem Jordan, Jair McAllister, Shane Mosley. You guys would remember that Shane Mosley, he would have played a couple of, um, quite a few best versus best games uh, when we were looking to slick. West Indies uh, test team. I think he was even in the squad at one point. But he's there. Zachary McCaskey, who was recently on the test tour of Australia, didn't um, get a chance to, 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 to go out in the middle. But he was there. Russian Primus is also there. Jamel Warrikan and Kevin Wickham. So those are the players that they have there. Uh, not too sure if anything will be changing. But as of now, that, that is how the squads are looking for Guyana Harpy Eagles. Well, not even going for, for Barbados Pride and Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. Uh, the competition starts on the 7th. So we are still waiting on oh, Winward, Leeward, uh, Jamaica, um, CCC, and uh, the West Indies Cricket Academy. We are waiting on them. Am I missing anybody else? Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if I'm missing anybody else, but you have heard from Guyana. So we're waiting on the others, my viewers and subscribers. And then, you know, we can we can see how things are actually shaping up. But we're going to leave this one right here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Sports to the bone. Keeping it informed. Big up.